What's going on guys? It's Thursday and I'm back to help you win another Forza Horizon 5 trial event. This week we have another installment in the Wilds Takeover series, but again it is a road racing event. Not entirely sure what's going on there, I'm just as confused as I was last week. You'd think with the Wilds Takeover series it'd be primarily dirt racing, but that has not been the case so far, at least for the trial events. Nonetheless, the trial this week is called Cooperation, or Cooperation, whichever way you want to pronounce it. It is a road racing event for the 1965 Mini Cooper S. And of course, the car I use is the 1965 Mini Cooper S, and the tune I made for it, I will show it on screen right now. It is called D500 Road Racing. I'll also show the share code. Now, originally, I kind of tinkered with this thing. I tried to put the white wall vintage racing tires on there. That's like the, the first tire upgrade you can put on there that's, that uses the least amount of tuning points. But this thing was really, really slow, so I did some I don't usually do. I kept the stock tires on and did my best uh, to make it maneuverable still. And uh, did my best to get that power down to the ground without just slamming in the walls and everything. So what I did to maximize my handling, I messed with the suspension a little bit. Uh, I did max weight reduction. I used race drive line, found the lightest wheels I could. I uh, used the lightest flywheel I could and used both pieces of aerodynamics. I used the front splitter tuned all the way to maximum downforce and I used the rear spoiler tuned to minimum downforce. I kind of like to do that on a lot of road racing cars. It helps it, uh, you kind of lose that notorious all-wheel drive understeer just a touch. Of course I did all-wheel drive convert this thing as well. But other than that though, I kind of just kind of pick what I wanted to do with uh, what engine parts I decided to upgrade. You can kind of go however you want to do it. I usually like to do like the lightest weight possible upgrades on the engine so I want like race exhaust and I think the uh, like the air intake I did like whatever something like that I usually use those I mean, usually the ones I like to go with first to have uh, the least amount of weight and still getting some decent power gains as well you can of course attack that however you want to you don't have to do it the way I did also kept the stock transmission as well I do that on a lot of uh, lower class tunes like D for sure sometimes even C just to keep the RPMs high a very really, little really good uh, tip there. Your uh, top speed's not gonna be as good as it will be with a like a race transmission. But if you're in like a circuit race where your just straightaways aren't too long and you're not really hitting the rev limiter, you can kind of tune your final drive ratio down to have uh, have the top speed just high enough to not hit the rev limiter, but still overall you can keep those RPMs high enough so you're not like stalling out and bogging down. Something I've kind of learned in my travels here. Uh, I'd love to know how you decide to attack this trial. Did you kind of go the way I did, or do you like to try to go more of a handling-oriented tune and just have uh, use some some better tires and kind of not worry about power too much and try to finesse your way to a victory? I'd love to know about that. Or you could be a complete maniac and go stock like some of my teammates decided to do. If you win this event, you get the 1973, I believe, Alpine A110. At least we're getting cool classic rally cars uh, as prizes. If I still wish we were doing some dirt racing on these trial events, hopefully next week we can. Let me know about your experiences down in the comments below. Leave a like on this video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you want more videos like this. And I will see you next week for another trial event.